to my channel <laughs> I'm doing this for my fans for my fans from Ghana my Ghanaian fans this is for you guys this is for you guys just to show you guys how I appreciate just to show you guys the way I love you guys and also love your country not minding some people that will, that will throw in negative words from time to time I, I'm not doing this one for you people. It's for the ones that are giving me positive energy on this channel. I am doing this for you people. A big shout out to you all. Anyway, welcome back again to my channel. The face you are seeing is no one else than Nkem Doris, a YouTube blogger, a mom content creator, living here in Enugu, Nigeria. Mom of two adorables, yes. How are you guys doing? Hmm. I decided to entertain you guys more with that my beautiful little dance style. But before I go into this beautiful discussion I have with you guys, there is this important announcement that I'm about to make on this channel. Guys, this is a collaboration video with one of us here, a huge fan of Ghana culture, a huge fan of Ghana vibes. She has visited Ghana. Unlike me, that have not visited, but I know I'm going to visit Ghana very soon. But you see this particular person I am telling you, she has visited Ghana. She has stayed in Ghana. She had enjoyed her stay in Ghana. She stayed there for more than one week. She has a whole lot of things to say about Ghana. Her name is no one else than that name you are seeing on the screen called Ugo Sweet TV. Guys, this is a collaboration video with her. Check her channel. Rush to her channel. She said a whole lot of things concerning her visit to Ghana. She visited Ghana and she said a whole lot of things. Her experience, both the good -o and the bad -o, her beg, no eat and bro. Just go there and learn from her. You can also chip in one or two things and tell her maybe one of the things she did not experience because she's planning on visiting there again. Who knows? We might be going there together very soon. Okay? <laughs> So guys, if you have done that, thank you. Go to her channel, watch her video. We did collaboration video together. You will see her on her Ghana attire. Just to show you that she is a very, very lover of your country. She is on that clothes. She is where she, in fact, she told me that that is the clothes that she bought when she visited Ghana. Okay, so I decided to look like this. Reason being that I want to look like an African woman. And also, as I have danced to that song that you guys watched earlier, it is a, a, a Ghanaian song that I decided to use to entertain you, my fans, especially you, my Ghana fans, my Ghanaian fans, okay? I thank you. Thank you for the amazing comments I've been getting. Thank you for the beautiful comments. That's why I say, let me dress like this. Like a full African, you know, now, like I used to say, we are all African. I'm an African woman. So that's why I decided to dress like this. Eh? You see my girl? You see my clothes? You see everything? I am wearing Ankara piece. From hair to toe, Ankara, everything. It speaks that Ankara African vibe. And the step I gave you people, I know, say, I didn't really dance it to your own style, you understand? Teach me too. As you are teaching me small, small, and I am learning small, small. Teach me. I will learn. Okay? <laughs> so, guys. So, I think uh, I have a beautiful thing that I want to say. Yesterday that I dropped a video about um, loving a particular Ghanaian name. I made mention of that. If you have not watched the video, please go and watch it. I talked about liking the name called... Abina. Hmm. 
a very wonderful huge fan of this channel of mine hey took his time to explain something that i didn't know he explained the meaning of abena to me oh even showed me so many names that maybe i have friends that want to answer that name because me i have adopted the name oh abena you are free to call me abena and i will gladly answer i will proudly answer uh -huh. because i'm a lover of your country now so if i should adapt that name or uh, adopt that name it's not a bad thing Eh? We are one, no? I will keep saying it. We are one. Nigerians and Ghanaians, we are one. Let's preach peace and love. That is what I want, okay? So, she took out her time, or he, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you will watch this video and see the amazing comment you dropped. I will also read it out so that you will also see, ah, this is your comment so I am reading, okay? So, let me read out the comment for you guys to see what the actual person said okay and this is the comment that sh that the person dropped here from the name i'm seeing here Hueku, Hueku. i believe i pronounced this name right okay and the person says we the three people in ghana has their born names and it is as follows okay the person is trying to explain because i said earlier that i would love to bear the name abina i would love to adopt the name called abina and this person this good samaritan this good wonderful Ghanaian, decided to take out his or her time to explain this to me i thank you and i love you if you're watching this video a big shout out to you so this is what the person says day bonds sunday means that is for males born on sunday they will answer Kwashe or Akwashe. But if it's females, they will answer Akosa. Wow. On Monday, for males, they will answer Kojo or Kujo. Okay. Then the females will answer Adwa ah, or Awa. No, now help me with pronunciation. No, I beg go. Then this person says, for Tuesdays, if he's a male, he will answer Kwabena. Kwabena. But if he's a female, she will answer Abina, the one that I'm answering. Uh -huh. So Tuesday, people people that are born on tuesday can answer abena it seems like i'm even in the spirit i was born on tuesday so i think that name it's 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 it's, it's even in line with what i answered okay so the person continued and said when is they for males they are called huako huako then for females they are called aqua but see I'm a kind of confused here. Please explain for me in the comment section. Because this person's name is called Kweku. Then the name the person wrote on Wednesday for males are called Kwako. Is it the same Kweku and Kwako? Please, are they the same thing? Because I think this is a male. He is a male that is writing this, right? I think so. I believe so. So if it's Kwako, that is Kwako, is for males. What of Kweku? Is he also for males? Thank you as you give me the answer in the comment section. Thursday, for males, they are called Yao. Yao. Then for females, they are called Iya. Good. Another comment here says on Friday, for males, they are called Kofi. Well, um, I think I've, I do hear this name, Kofi. Okay. People born on Fridays are called Kofi. Please ignore. He's my son. Another person for females born on that same Friday are called Afia. Wow. Very, very wonderful. Even in Nigeria, if you're born on Friday, you'll be called Friday. If you're born on Saturday, you'll be called Saturday. And also tribes, like if it's Igbo tribe, if you're born on AK, you'll be called OKK. If you're born on A4, you'll be called Okafo. If you're born on Unkwo, you'll be one Unkwo, okay? If you're born on Orie, you'll be Okorie. So, I think it's still the same thing here that is playing out. And that's a K Orie are for, they are the days in a week. Then this one says Saturday, for people born on Saturday, they are called Kwame. Kwame. 
Then for the females, they are called Ama. Wow. These are beautiful names, though. Then he continued and said, Abena, as you mentioned, is a Tuesday. So you can take any of the names as you know the day you were born. Wow. I learned Nigerians also give such names, as in English, as some are called Sunday, Monday, and so forth. It's true. Some people are called Monday. Some people, I have a distant cousin that his name is even Sunday. The other person is Friday. We all are still in line and still doing the same thing here. So guys, I'll be ending this video here. I saw this comment. I was very happy because for someone to bring out his time or her time to explain this for you, more, it shows that the person really loves you and I love the person back, okay? That's why I gave you people that beautiful Ghanaian dance step. Rate me in the comment section. Did I try? Like, did I try? Tell me. I know I tried now. Eh? I know I tried. <laughs> teach me if you want to teach me. I'm, I'm ready to learn. I'm open to learning, okay? So guys, remember this is a collaboration video with one of us, like I said earlier, by name Ugo Sweet. That name on the screen, do well to visit that channel. You will definitely love it. Like I said earlier, she has visited Ghana. She has a whole lot of things to say about Ghana. She has a whole lot of experience. She, she was telling me a whole lot that she saw in Ghana. Like, I was like, wow. Wow. Like, there are beautiful places like there, like this that she was mentioning. She was like, she has been there. She's not telling me what she heard. And I said, no, you people need to see what i'm seeing you people need to watch what i have also seen so far okay check her channel ugo sweet tv here on youtube just go and search for ugo sweet got go to the search button and search for ugo sweet tv when you search it it will bring out that beautiful design you people are seeing on the screen you will see it that is her own tap on that subscribe and watch that video when you finish watching drop amazing comments and tell her that you are coming from Nkem doris tv so that she will know that my people are there as well take care of yourselves have a lovely day and see you guys in my next video till i come your way next time i'm still Nkem doris bye